Hey everybody, uh, today we're doing the brake hose on the front end. Um, basically what happened was the caliper or the hose, I couldn't figure out which one it was, was uh, dragging and it felt like the brakes were on all the time. Um, so I talked to the mullet, he gave me a suggestion, so I went under the car. Uh, with the car off, I pumped up the brakes, uh, jacked it up, and you know the tires still wouldn't spin. So what I did then was open the bleeder valve a little bit, and um, it's it spun after that. So what that meant was you know the hose was bad; it collapsed internally because I looked and there was no you know hole in the line or anything. Uh, I thought it was the caliper. I pulled the piston out; it looked good, looked smooth. Put the boot everything back together, and um, put it back. Um, the uh, rotor is now shot because I was doing a trip to work and a trip back. So two times a day I was pulling off, pulling the caliper back and pushing the piston in so it wouldn't lock up. And I finally got the brake part, or, you know, the part, the hose. Um, so for the application we're going to do today, all you really need is uh, the new hose. This is the old one because I already did it. Uh, the pliers, we're going to use that to take off the clips. Uh, I use this to take off the one clip. Uh, 10 millimeter wrench. You don't need a flare wrench since we're doing this part of the hose and uh, 14 millimeter. So basically what I did was uh, loosen the one bolt down here on the caliper and then kind of flipped it up uh, just to press and then open the bleeder valve up to uh, collapse the piston to push it back in. Um, from there I used the 10 millimeter wrench to undo up top here and when I got that just about off then I pulled the clip out and then from there I pulled this clip out here I used the pliers on this one to kind of just pull it, bite it here and pull out uh, this one here I used the screwdriver to just kind of jam it in there and then used my uh, trusty here to kind of like tap it out and that popped out and I went down here in the banjo bolt and unloosened that one that's also a 14 millimeter and installation was easy. I mean, just after that, you finger tighten this one back in, you know, get everything set up, and then, you know, once everything's in place and there's, you know, good, good, uh, you know, the hoses are too short, then I tightened everything back up and, uh, you know, bled the system. And it was, it was really neat to see, you know, your work in progress. And, uh, you know, when I was inside, you know, or my wife was helping me actually. Push, you know, the piston would come out, you know, this, everything was doing what it was supposed to do. And um, it, it's good to see that it, that it was the hose and, you know, Big John Stein was right. So thanks a lot. Um, hopefully this video helps. If you have any questions, just ask.